Konnichiwa, my name is Jake. Welcome to our channel, Gen X Jake. For today's video, we are going to do an unboxing and review of the newest temperature sensor from Mokrio. Mokrio has sent us their LS2, which is in their LoRa technology line. LoRa means long range. So if you want to check out their LS1, temperature sensor and the H5 Pro Hub, their LoRa Pro Hub. Put the link up here or here. Just click on that one if you want to check out the review of those uh, hub and their LS1 sensor. And this LS2 sensor will be using the same hub. So before we proceed, I would like to give thanks to our friends from Mokrio for sending us the LS2 temperature sensor. Disclaimer, even if they had sent us these products, I will be 100% honest with whatever I think it is good at or bad at. Without any further ado, let's start the unboxing and review of the Mokrio LS2 temperature sensor. Let us start the unboxing of the Mokrio LS2 kit. Upon opening, the first thing that you encounter is the product warranty card. Next is the product user manual. It contains detailed information of the LS2 kit, such as how the system works, box contents, product parameters, specifications, and how to set up the LS2 sensor. Next is one piece Velcro. Place it to the appliance or location where you want the LS2 sensor to be deployed. Next is one piece of probe cable. Probe measuring range is from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 105 degrees Celsius. Cable length is 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters. Cable cross section is 0.16 by 0.05 inches. Connector type is USB type C. Next is one piece LS2 sensor. It uses LoRa or Long Range Wireless Protocol for communications between the H5 Pro Hub and the LS2 sensor. Its communication range between the sensor and the hub is around 1,640 feet with no obstacles in between. Weight of the sensor is 105 grams. Physical differences between the LS1 and LS2 is that no metal plate is found in the LS2 because it is found as metal lead on the probe. Other parts of it is just the same with the LS1. For power, it uses three AAA batteries or replaceable. Now let's open the second box and check if the LS2 kit contents are the same. It has the same warranty card. Checked. But it seems that the user manual is kinda strange. It seems that this box was not properly checked because the manual placed inside is for the LS1 sensor. Mokrio, please improve your QA process so that in the future, no mistakes like this will be encountered by your customers. Other contents of the second LS2 kit seems to be in place. It matches with the first one, such as the Velcro, the probe cable, and then also the body of the second LS2 sensor. Everything seems okay. The back port, and it seems that everything matches. Only the user manual was the one that seems to be weird. Now let's set up for the application. Open the Mokrio Smart app. Uh, on the upper right, click the plus button. Select the temperature sensor LS2. Allow the Bluetooth connection. And then, yeah, just follow the instructions that are written on the application. Once connected, just wait for it. And it will automatically connect with your hub. You don't need anything. Just Set it up normal. Just follow the instructions. Set the name for it. What name? I'll just use the default in this time. And then again, just do it the same process with the other LS2 sensor. Follow the instructions and now you can see the overview of the sensor. You can see the information of it, the name, which location, connectivity, model number, battery level, serial number, firmware version. And then you can also change the alarm settings. So when you turn this on, you can set the temperature alarm. What temperature you want the alarm will be. Also, it has also a function to, you can select the hub that you have. So I have the H5 Hub Pro. And then also you have anti-false alarm setting. You can also toggle it on and off if you want to. And then also the hub beeping alarm and then you can also have alarm settings for temperature. Also, you can schedule the alarm. Specific time period, start and end, all day. And you can also set also for the follow-up alarm. Also, you can calibrate it if you want to. Also, you can export the data 
that was gathered. And also, it has the firmware upgrade version. So this is the other sensor, same, everything, same settings. Can view the data by day, by month, by year. And yeah, that is it. You have successfully added it to the Mocrio Smart App. And that is it for the unboxing part. Let's proceed now on to the pros and to the cons. To the pros, same as the LS1. Number one pro is the distance, the communication range in which the sensor can reach the hub. As what I have said earlier in the unboxing part, it can reach up to 1,350 feet. So around 500 meters in above. Second pro is that on the battery life, since you will only change after two years. According to Mockery, the battery will last around two years. Third pro is that the temperature range of this sensor is quite, the range is quite wide. So around minus 40 degrees to up to 100 plus degrees Celsius. Yeah. That is a very unique in the market right now for which you can use in your home or even in your businesses. I think this one is more accurate. So my freezer can reach up to minus 20 plus. The old Mocrio sensor can still do that but I want to test this out on the long run. And the LS sensors, the LS1 and LS2 are built to take a beating. This is a heavy duty sensor. And now on to the fourth for me is that it uses the USB. C cord with the flat cable. I really like Mocrio's cable. They are using flat cable, so it's very useful. And it does not obstruct, especially when you use it on like refrigerators or freezers. When you close the doors or cover, it does not obstruct. And the fifth pro for me is that it is water resistant. It has a water resistant rating in which it can handle moisture, higher moisture in the environment. So that is one of the pros that I really like. If I have forgotten other other pros, so just check out again the LS1 review. It's the same, the same. Oh, I forgot. The sixth pro that I really like is that uh, you can upload it to the application in Mocrio's application and you can export it. And that is it for the pros for my six pros. If I had missed something, just check out the LS1, LS1 sensor review. It's the same. Now let's proceed to the con. First is that I cannot still connect it to my home assistant. So I am using home assistant and I really want to connect the LoRa technology sensors from Mocrio to my home assistant and still I have not yet found a solution to it and hopefully Mocrio I would like to request would like to adopt your original separate application right now there are two applications from Mocrio the Mocrio smart and the Moc I forgot the other one Mocrio there are two application so the first one can integrate it with home assistant the second one this one the current the LoRa ecosystem I cannot find a way how to connect it to my home assistant and then also and still it cannot connect to the big three smart home assistants so from Amazon A, Google, and then Apple's HomeKit or Siri shortcuts. Fortunately, I really don't like that one. That is my number one con. The second con, uh, Mocrio, this, I am just being nitpicky, but I was a QA engineer. It was my first job. I think it was I think, nine years ago. It really icks me. So this is just a, I would like to request you that you would be stricter on your QA. The one of the kits that they had sent me, manual does not match with the sensor. Manual is for the LS1 sensor and the sensor that they had sent me is LS2 so it does not match. That is the only con in the unboxing part. The sensor itself is okay, good. It's very good. It is very robust. And now let's proceed to the third con. Still the same with the LS1. I really wanted that they retain their rechargeable you by via USB-C. Yeah, it would be better if they had stuck with their old rechargeable power supply. And I think that is it for my cons. Uh, I hope that in the near future, again, uh, Mocrio will let us post 
individuals who are using Home Assistant, let their LoRa lineup be integrated to Home Assistant. This would be a very great addition to the Home Assistant ecosystem that we have. And also, hopefully, they would also give the option that it can also integrate with the Amazon A, Google, and HomeKit. So if you want to have a robust, sensitive, and strong temperature sensor, uh, check out the LS2. And also, I will be putting the links down below, Amazon links down below for the US and their website also. Before we end, again, we, I would like to give thanks to Mocrio for sending us these products to be reviewed. I think that is it. See you in the next one. Bye. Peace.